Hey guys, it's time for the April blog. I'm going to... Okay, I'm gonna really, like, rush through this stuff because I talked for, like, half an hour in my first take and the first take didn't actually record. So I'm just gonna rush through this. So basically, what have I done this month? Well, starting with near the end of March, I uploaded a video called Dissertation. This is because I have to do that for one of my university projects. And it's more of a proof of concept because you can see what you liked and disliked about all three of the eras. But that is entirely down to you. I also upload a shit ton of Bioshock videos, a shit ton of Testament of Sherlock Holmes videos, Time to Go to the Dead, Overkill, and more Alan Wake. Now, for the next couple of days, there's going to probably be just more Alan Wake videos because that's a, that. The Alan Wake videos is literally all I've got left on my backlog. I am literally out of videos to upload, and that's a problem because I've still got university stuff, and in fact, we're on the last two weeks of university. The last week if you want to be really picky with some of the stuff. So I've obviously got to get, you know, I'm obviously busy with that. And it's just, I want to keep uploading a video every single day, but at the rate it's going, it's probably not going to happen. I also did two rants, YouTube Famous, in which I basically summarized that I'd like to be YouTube Famous, but at the same time, I don't because there's going to be so much negative shit about it. And quote-unquote simulator games in which I basically said guys ragdolls around a theme stop it I've learned recently there's a game coming out called bear simulators like stop it seriously you are what's wrong with the games industry put some goddamn effort into your games uh, also within the space of two days of each other I know I'm really rushing through this and talking really quickly but I'm sorry, I spent half an hour talking really slowly about everything, and the thing didn't record, so I'm kind of in a bad mood because of it. Uh, two milestones got hit. 250,000 video viewers. Now this is I will slow down for. I also want to know, I mean, I know that people do watch this, do watch my blogs. I don't know, like, how many of them... Are regulars and how many of them are just people that just like oh who's this guy oh the blog a blog okay let's just go away now but i'm asking this guys like truthfully what do you like and dislike about my videos like in particular i mean i know that a lot of people want me to make more animation videos i get that but i just don't have the time to do that a lot of the time and watch my calls it I, I really should, because that's one of the things I want to go into. I want to go into 3D animation, preferably in the games industry. But, um... Basically, like, what is it that you like about my videos? What is it that you dislike? What should I try and improve upon in my videos? You know, that kind of deal. Because... My top 10 most viewed videos, every single month without fail since February, has been my Terraria tutorial... My first episode of Gogo Nippon. And the rest of nothing but Luigi's Ballard videos. Which I'll get to in a little bit. Because, as you know, I use my blogs for announcements as well. So, let me know with that one. And also, on the 22nd, I hit 700 subscribers. You're really trying to make me get to that second subscriber goal, aren't you? 1,000 subscribers? I I'll say this now, my new goal... Because my my original goal got basically smashed so quickly is I want to get a thousand subscribers and a million video viewers by the end of this year. I'm going to be honest, odds are I'm not going to get that. Because I'm going to need to get like two or three subscribers a day, which I'm not getting. And I need to be getting around like two and a half to three thousand video views a day. And I'm only getting half of that. So maybe this is a... I mean, like, I can probably... I can easily get that in a year. But not, like... Not in, eight, not in the eight or seven months that we've got left. So there you go. Now, Source Filmmaker Animations, because I actually did some. I'm not going to lie. I half asked all three of them. I did them all in the space of, like, one to two hours. So the first one was a recreation of whose idea was it to bow race in hot lava from the Sonic Shorts parody volume 7, I believe it was. And there's a couple of more skits in there that I want to do. But obviously, if you, if you want me to do that, if you guys think that I should do that, 
then let me know. Uh, another one was of Crashovania. The actually, we were just dancing. That's like my favorite part in the in that song. And I just had to recreate that. Uh, and then it was the better boss. Honestly, looking back at it, I was so fucking lazy, and it was for such a stupid reason. I'm kind of regretting ever making it. But hey. Now, are we on the topic of source filmmaker stuff? I know I promised I'd get you some Luigi's Ballard stuff in April. And I know that didn't happen. That's because I have stopped making Luigi's Ballard. There's no reason for me to do that. Now, I know you're probably thinking, oh, is it because Duvad has finished his and he's going to get his own? Well, you can still do yours. Well, yes, I could. If it wasn't for the fact that I helped do half of his bloody animation. During April, Duvad came to me and asked for my help. Now, don't get me wrong. I know that my tone sounds like I'm irritated by it, but actually, I'm really happy that I helped with it. But it's just like... I helped do half of his Luigi's Ballard. I honestly see very little reason for me to do my own at this point. His is done. His has gone through at the time of this recording post-editing. His should be uploaded at one point during May. I, I don't see a reason why I should bother when... I've only literally got like eight scenes of mine done. Because I too found it draining. I, I don't see a reason for me to continue mine. Especially since... You, you'd probably be able to... I mean, like... Me and Duvad have rather similar styles, but we've also got something that really pulls ours apart. His is very cartoony. Lots of, like, increasing sizes. Very, like, ultra-rapid, fast movements. Pretty much constantly. Whereas his mine, while it does have some cartoony stuff, you can actually see that, like, the... Bit with Toad saying another you know, fucking castle. I animated that one and I did have something rather cartoony. But my stuff is also a lot slower. Like, I animate a lot more slower and smoother, whereas his is a lot more faster. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But I mean, it's just, you know, you'll be able to tell who did what. Although, I will pretty much say that I pretty much did everything after the first chorus up to Let Me Take You On Magic Car Ride and the ending where it's like, So, who's it gonna be, princess? Like that bit? I basically did all that bit. Uh, so you should see that one soon. Uh, but at the same time, I know I did promise I'd make it. So, the question I want to ask to people is... Okay, I know you're going to say, well, why don't you recreate other songs? That's because... The reason why, as well, why I'm a bit hesitant on recreating other songs. Crashlevania was made using TF2 characters. Why was it made using TF2 characters and in a map that was not Castlevania? It's because they do not exist on either Gmod or Source Filmmaker, or they exist in a manner which I cannot use. For example, there is a Castlevania map. I am very well aware of this. However, I'm... Pretty certain, last I checked, that it does not have HDR. Now, do you want to know what HDR does? Well, you might have seen one of my Luigi's Ballard previews where it was just massively bright. That's an example of HDR where you cannot control the lighting. So, if I would want, if I wanted to make a Castlevania, you know, Crashlevania on a Castlevania map, I'd need a Castlevania map that's got HDR. On top of that, there is only one Castlevania model I have found. That's the Simon Belmont one from Castlevania Judgment. It does not have lip syncing. In fact, it has n I c you cannot interact with his face at all. So it would just look stupid. That in mind, there is one track. There is one stop on track. No, two stop on tracks. That I know for a fact that I could recreate. From what I can tell. That is Sonic's Pal Tales, you know, the Sonic the Hedgehog one. And for the most part, it's dangerous to go alone. I could actually pretty much completely recreate both of them. Obviously, there'd be a couple of sessions with it's dangerous to go alone because there is no 3D old man model. And there actually isn't like a model of Fatty and 
Or is it Shadow Link? Well, there might be a Shadow Link model, but there isn't one of the um, Scoured Sword boss. So I'd have to kind of jury rig that one. Uh, but outside of that, because I know some of you guys do like the Luigi's Ballard stuff. Uh, would you guys, like, okay. You can say a Salvam song that you really would like me to recreate as a Luigi's Ballard. But keep in mind that you're suggesting that I make a song that I, you recreate a song that I might not have the models for and the models may not exist. So basically, you need to, basically, if you want me to recreate a Starbomb song, say it in the comments, but you need to understand that if I do decide to go with it and recreate that song, it may or may not have the models that you want. For example, Regretoid. I'm going to say this right now. If you make me recreate Regretoid, I'm going to be using Ridley, not Kraid. Why not Kraid? Because there isn't a goddamn Kraid model anywhere. There's like a Mecha Kraid model somewhere, but it's not available. Y you can't get it. I've searched. I've literally spent a good week searching to try and find a crane model because I really do want to recreate it as close to the, you know, as close to what the lyrics say as possible, but I just can't. So it's like, if you guys really want me to make, like, Regretoid, for example, you need to be aware that I'm, that the crane model might not be crane. It might be Ridley. So just let me know on that one. Uh, and I did promise the good, the bad, and the mad, didn't I? That one isn't cancelled. I am still continuing with that, but I just haven't had time. I have all the footage made. I have it all cut up. I have it all matched up. It's just the little bits in between the stuff that isn't gameplay footage that I need to just make. That's that's literally it. So if I'm lucky, I might be able to get it done by May. And... Let's play Minecraft False Wars. People who watch, who look at my playlists, they know that when I complete something, I put a dash and then if it's, and then complete, or dash and cancelled. Yeah, Minecraft Vaults Wars has gotten the, uh, cancelled tag. Now, you're probably wondering why I, why I cancelled it. Well, it's simply because... It started as one thing, I tried to move it to another thing, I fell behind, and now it just wouldn't make sense in context. Basically, I'm not gonna lie, I was playing Follow the Leader with FND games and FMB games. I'm going to, I'm not going to deny that, that is basically what I was trying to do. Actually, around episode, what would be 36, I tried to shove my way into their false wars storyline like not with them acknowledging it just like saying like me being one of the last few bastions of hope one of the you know and I, I i tried to get my foot in where it wasn't needed but i fell behind i had other videos to upload i had stuff to do and at this point they started a new season I'm too far behind. But the thing is, I also don't want to just skip through all that, all those, all that recording I did. Just saying, so, I lost all this footage, guys, but here's all the shit I've been doing. So, I've decided to cancel it, and I am preparing to start another Minecraft series. This one is going to be on a mod pack that they don't have. Unless they decide to spontaneously jump onto it, in which case they're a bunch of jackasses. Attack of the B-Team. I've added one mod onto it, which is the custom NPCs mod. I finally got that round to working. Um, and basically, I'm working on making the sets. Quote-unquote sets. It will be similar to Vault Wars, as in it'll be scripted, but also improvised. Basically, if there's really slow points, then I'll throw in, like, a scripted episode. But all the other times it's not, because the thing is, as well, I honestly don't have a clue what half the fucking mods in Attack of the B-Team do. So I'm going to be spending most of my time just walking about trying to figure it out while also trying to build a kingdom. Because, okay, I'm going to spoil the plot, like, the basic plot of... And it's going to be a way to, like, link the vaults, my Vaults Wars Let's Play with this one. Basically, in the Vaults Wars Let's Play, Tick, I know that's me, but I'm just going to say it in the third, you know, as if it's a different person, 
gets enough strange matter and antimatter for a red matter explosive. He makes one, he has absolutely nothing on him because as previous times has shown, which I'll show clips of, uh, typically ends up with him dying. And even though he doesn't want to die in the red matter explosion, because, well, obviously then he's going to need an anti-matter explosion to get rid of it, he doesn't bring anything with him, and if he survives it, well, then he'll go pick up an anti-matter explosive and disable it. But something goes awry! He gets sucked in, but instead of killing him, he ends up in a mysterious world, which is because of the attack of the BT Mod Pack. He then finds a grave, which finds out that he is standing on the remains of a forgotten kingdom, and so his job is to basically rebuild the kingdom and do what the hell he wants with the other four kingdoms that destroy the original kingdom. I have built the grave, and I'm building the first of the four kingdoms. It's quite far away from the main area, and there's no waypoint system, so I'm worried as fuck that I'm going to miss out where each area is. So that's basically the premise of the... Attack of the B team uh, story thing that I'm gonna do, and hopefully, freaking FMB and FND don't jump ship to that one. And if they do, then I swear to fucking god, they better involve me in it. But I digress. Uh you know, it's funny how I said I was gonna be going really quickly on this, and I've been talking for a good 16 minutes. So what do I plan to do for May? Well, as I said, if I'm lucky, I might get that Minecraft video done. Um, I might get the good, the bad, and the meh done. Outside of that, I have no fucking clue. I'm literally at the end of my backlog, so I'm going to need to stream some games. So basically, whatever I stream is probably going to be what you're going to see during this month. You might also see some, uh, some bloopers. I think I did some bloopers for some stuff that have now come out, so I can actually, like, pull them up. Uh, outside of that, yeah, I've got, I, I, I have no clue. But, I guess I'll catch you guys next time, because I honestly don't have a fucking clue what else I gotta say here. See ya.